All right, I have a proposal and we're just all gonna start doing it, okay? <laughs> so, I was watching some of y'all lovely people on YouTube this morning while I was doing my makeup, as I always do, and I do this myself, but I'm over it. Let's just all collectively decide to stop apologizing for like our nail polish being chipped or like, you know, like, oh, sorry, the outside of this packaging is dirty. Like, stop, okay? I'm gonna stop, you're gonna stop. I like it a lot better when your nails are chipped or when, you know, the packaging of something is dirty or when the inside of your drawers are dusty. You're, it's more relatable, it's real life. We are not these like polished, perfect people, right? Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can continue on into what this video really is. Okay, I owe you an update to the 21 by 2021 project pan. I think we started this in like November of 2019 and I'm not gonna lie, 21 products is a little overwhelming and considering I have other stuff going on. So I have actually changed it to 10 products and it will just be a rolling project pan. And I think that by the time December rolls around, we could probably have 21 items, you know, used up. Um, I probably like a week or two ago made the decision, like, let's just change this to 10. And so I picked out 10 from like the original 21 that we had in. And ever since I like changed it and just made it 10, like I've just felt more better. I've wanted to like reach for these products more. Like it hasn't felt so daunting. So just as a recap, we have finished off four items already within this project. So we finished off a bronzer from the Tarte Hamptons uh, Weekender palette. We finished off a Ulta Beauty full coverage liquid concealer. I think it was in the shade like light cool or something. Um, we finished off a Bath & Body Works body cream, and then we hit our goal, which was to hit pan on that, um, the Balm Bonnie Luminizer, that really dark one that I frankened with the bronzer. So we do have, like, goal, finished off four items, so we'll get into it. I'll show you the ten that we're still working on, and they, spoiler alert, nothing is rolling out as of yet, but some things are very close, so I think by the next update... We'll have some empty, some more empties, and then get to like roll in other items. So we will just start with the skincare stuff. This one is first off the Formula 1010 B Berry like AHA mask. I just, I really don't like this. As far as AHA mask goes, um, I have this one. I have the one from The Ordinary, and I have like a pumpkin enzyme mask from Bliss. And those other two, the Ordinary and the Bliss one, they just actually make your skin feel soft. They feel like they're doing something as far as like the texture and things go. This one, it just, I don't know, it's very mild in comparison. So maybe if you've tried an AHA mask and it's been too intense for you, but you still want like the benefits of that, maybe I could see this working. But anyway, we are now at this pink line. So we were all the way up here when we first brought it in and we've just slowly made progress. We had really good progress here. I don't know what I was doing, but this is where we're at. So I really think that this will be finished off by next update. There's just this. And I do, when I shine the light like up to it so that I can see where it's at in here, it does look like product goes all the way to the bottom. So, but if you look at like previous months, that's about like what we've used up in a month, uh, you know, pa pastime. So I really think it'll be easy to get this finished off by the next update, hopefully. <clears throat> then we have this um, Pearl Essence Rose Water Hydrating Face Mist. I like this stuff. Like I do think it's it's really nice as just like a facial spray. Um, but the mister on here is just really aggressive. So, but anyway, here is the line where we are at right now. I don't know how well you can see that and the products like moving around. But when we first started with this bottle, it was like all the way up here. It was like brand new. So I think we've used up about half of it as of right now. So I don't think maybe in like four more months we'll be done with this. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. It's not 
the worst like and yes I could decant this into like another container but then I would lose all my little progress lines and so I'm just gonna suck it up I don't spray this like over makeup or anything so it's not like the aggressive nozzle is going to ruin my makeup so I'm not like that worried about it like I'll just keep chucking and then I have this perfume from it makes perfect sense this is supposed to be a knockoff of the uh, flower bomb perfume and so the goal is to the goal has been to finish everything off and so here is where we are at with the perfume all the way down to this line I was trying so hard to get this out by the time I updated you guys but it'll for surely be gone by next month I really like this scent it just I've had like the actual flower bomb perfume and I feel like this is actually a really good knockoff sorry my nose ring is bothering me um so I like it I found this brand at CVS I believe just in case you were wondering and they have like a lot of different like knockoffs for other perfumes so if you like and I think this was either like 15 or 20 bucks a bottle so and I don't really remember how much the actual flower bomb perfume is but yeah enjoying that so now the rest of our things are makeup things so let's get into this one first this is the laura geller baked balance and brighten uh powder in the shade fair and i apologize i know like i can see the glare from the ring light but it's just so cloudy here today that i have to have that on um so the goal is to finish this off and this is what it's looking like it's a baked product so i know it won't be like pan when we get there but you know like we still haven't hit pan but if i hold it this way i think you can tell the dome is really getting worn down and i foresee this going a lot quicker once like the summer months roll around and it starts getting more humid here um because standard like foundation just slides off my face and so in the summer months i do tend to use a powder foundation like as an actual powder foundation this is my phone um how I use this right now currently is I will take it out and like just set this part of my face down with it so that I can blend like bronzer, blush, and highlighter on top of it. But yeah, once it actually starts getting humid, this will get a lot more like use and it'll be being applied like all over my face. So, but yeah, we will finish that guy off. Um, let's talk about this primer. I didn't grab the packaging. So I had the, um, Catrice Prime and Fine Goodbye Pores Pore Filling Primer and I was noticing like it the packaging itself okay who who needs me so badly I never get texts oh hello Kaylee <laughs> um, anyway the packaging was getting like really thin and it was getting so hard to like get the product to squeeze out of it so I was like yes I'm almost done so I cut it open y'all there was a ridiculous amount of product left in there so I cut it open and I scooped everything out and I put it into just this little like it used to hold a face mask but there is what is inside of it that we are left to work with so I really love this primer I think it does a great job of actually filling in my pores and I only apply it like right here and right on my nose so we just use a very little amount and it's gonna like take a while obviously to use this up I will say I did much more prefer it in its like little squeezy tube because I felt like I had better control on how much product I was getting out whereas like having it this way like sometimes I do get out a bit more than I actually need so there is that uh, the next thing we will talk about this is the ABH liquid glow highlighter in the shade Perla and I absolutely love this stuff. There's like the coloring of it. It's just like a really pretty golden champagne color. Um, I did swatch this out in my highlighter like collection video. So if you're interested in a swatch, you could go there. But the goal is to use this up and like I can bend the packaging all the way down to the liquid glow part. So yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. There is an air bubble in here and I don't know like when and if we'll hit it. I mean I know we'll hit it eventually I guess and like it'll pop out and so this will get much thinner but I just love this um to mix it in with uh my more like matte foundations I just think it gives your skin like a really nice healthy glow so I'm really gonna miss this once it's gone um 
you know so yeah i don't know what else i could say about this but i foresee this probably being gone here in the next maybe i don't know four four months because i don't put like a ton of it in my foundation like maybe on like like a pea size a little like pea size and a half amount so but <clears throat> anyway uh, so this next item has not been in since the beginning. This replaced, I decluttered all of my black eyeliners because I just came to terms with the fact that I just don't use those. I'm just not that person. So instead in its place, I put in the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk and I'm going to take the cap off. So I think you guys can appreciate how much I have used. This is a very tiny little pencil now, a little little nub it's not um getting hard to sharpen or anything so yeah but i do have markings on the paper for you so let me see here let me fold this down so that it's a little more manageable to take in so you can see if i could get my act together okay so you can see where we brought it in and then here is where we are at now and so, yeah, we've used quite a bit, I feel like. And then down here is the end of the, like, little uh, pencil itself. So, I really love the, like, the white of it. And it's really opaque. And so, how I use it is I have very veiny, purpley blue eyelids. And so, I will put that on, like, before, like, foundation and all that other stuff. And I really just think it does such a good job of helping to cancel everything out. And then you can't see all of that blueness and like veins underneath or not you can't see it on my eyes you get what i'm trying to say all right three more products which this is two three more products okay so i have the color pop super shock shadow in the shade set to stun now i picked this one over birthday cake yeah because this one had much more pan on it Birthday cake, I like birthday cake a lot better. I really love set to stun, but then also set to stun and party of five, both of them are super shock shadows. They look really similar and I have both of them. So I figured let's work on set to stun and like get this one moved out of my collection, like finished off and then I'll have party of five. And then, you know, once this one's gone, maybe I'll roll back in birthday cake. I don't know, but we're just going to work on this one for now. So this is what it is currently looking like. You can see like up at the top, I've like used up all the product that was up there. And so we're just kind of like working on this half of it. So I don't know how long this will take to use up because I'm using this. I have pan those eyeshadows. I have pan that palette. I'm trying to get better about trying to wear this at least twice a week. And I did not wear it today. Today would have been a perfect day to wear it because hello, we're updating on it, but maybe next time. <laughs> So yeah, I, but I really do like this shade. I think it's really pretty. I can, I guess this could be like the one thing that I swatch out for you, right? But it's really gorgeous. I don't know if you can see like any of like the blue, like glitters in there, but the blue glitters surprisingly are not like as in your face as you would expect. So I really think that this can be a more like everyday shade especially if you pair it with something like a little more toned down in the crease like just a brown or something so but i'm really loving it need to love it more um the next thing is my abh brow pomade in the shade taupe i am probably the most impressed with this now let me forewarn you i don't have eyebrow well i have eyebrows but i don't have eyebrows like i just have these little sparse hairs that don't even start in the front like they literally start back here and it you know i have to fill in my brows a lot i guess it's like what i'm trying to tell you so that is why i think i've made such good progress on this you can see we hit pan in the center we expanded that center pan and we have hit side pan there and then it's also getting pretty thin on like this bottom part if you can tell and yes jasper's trying to dig the carpet behind me uh but yeah i am so impressed with my progress i really think i could finish this off come the end of the year or be very very close i was like nervous because i've seen other people pan this before do, do you really have to though buddy like 
I just, I don't know. The carpet here and the carpet in the closet is the same. You don't have to scratch it. Anyway, I've seen other people pan this and it takes them like a year or two years to get through it. And so I was kind of nervous, like, ooh, what am I signing up for? But I forgot that those people probably also have much fuller eyebrows than I do. So yeah, but I really do. I think this is a great value. It was like $18, which I think they've raised the price to 20. I swear that when I bought it, it was like 18. Either way, even if they have like increased it to 20, I just like it so much. It's lasted a long time. It's lasted far longer than an eyebrow pencil would last me. So I really think that even at a $20 price point, like this is just going to be like my go-to brow thing. And I'm not going to like search out any others just because I'm really happy with this product. So, but yeah, the last thing is a lip gloss and this is the ColourPop. All this stuff has like worn off the packaging. It's the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Moon Child. And y'all, can you see all those like windows and I don't know, it's just, it's getting there. I took the stopper out probably like four days ago and so like the wand is now all goopy. Um, but I don't know why I'm like showing you down in there like as if you could really see. I don't think there's very much product left in here. I think that if I continue to use this every day, multiple times a day, that I will have this gone by the next update and that would be so exciting because I don't think I've ever finished off a lip product. I do have this on today. I've just been wearing it every day with my Bite Beauty uh, lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. I just absolutely love them together. I, I really like the Bite Beauty lipsticks on their own, but then I think this lip gloss just like umps it up a little bit. I don't know why I had to like smack my lips there. But yeah, so that's it. That's all I have for you as far as an update. So I really think that by the next update, I could at least have three things done, hopefully. So the formula, uh, 1006 AHA mask, the It Makes Perfect Sense Flower Bomb perfume, and then the ColourPop lip gloss. I really think I could have these finished and moved out, and then we could roll three new things in. And if I finish these off by next month, that would be seven things completed in, yeah. So that's it. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves, uh, taking care of yourselves and staying sane. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.